America is now fighting the war on terror. Not long ago, they were fighting the communists on battlegrounds across America's own backyard in Central America to the jungles of Southeast Asia. Today, the Americans are gone, but they've left their mark. Nicaragua, home of the Sandinista Revolution, the only successful revolution in Latin America since Cuba. Today, corruption, poverty and drug trafficking dominate people's lives, and the revolution has almost been forgotten. Our guide is Daniel Alegre, who used to work as a translator and bodyguard for the Sandinista leaders. We're in Bluefields, on the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua. It's a trafficking route for drugs being shipped from South America to the US. Just outside the airport terminal, a group of prisoners were being transferred. A few days before we arrived, four policemen had their throats cut in the local police station, where some Colombians were being held. But while the drug traffickers make mostly fleeting appearances, evidence of their presence washes up in Bluefields all the time. That was just dumped. That, was, that came in. Empty, with no crew. No drugs. And, but, no drugs, no nothing, no crew. But what happened is that out at sea, they got, uh, you know, sequestered by narco truck, you know, narco. So they chucked the drugs overboard and jumped off? No, they, apparently the crew was killed just for the passports and the ID numbers. It's not. Oh, drug traffickers. To yeah, drug, the boat. yeah, exactly. And, and then they the just killed the people for their IDs. IDs. And then they just left, left the boat. And the boat came in here on its own. You see, it looks like it was sailing when this happened, because all the sails are still yeah. rigged. So far, nobody has claimed the boat. This could mean that nobody knows the owners are dead. It says... It says, don't touch nothing, National Police. National Police, that's right. Yeah, this has been written inside. Like that winch that's over there is like 5,000 baht, you know? But in its original state, this is a $150,000 baht. Sometimes locals find abandoned boats that still have sacks of drugs on board. They consider it what a lottery you win. Is that? No, that you find drugs coming no, on the sea. They have, no, they have people that find 50, 60, 70, 80 bags. Like they find a whole bag that containing uh, 50, 60 kilos yeah. of coke. And they find them. So what they would do with them now? The government, if you go and the to the government, they put you in jail. If you sell it, they put you in jail. So what they rather sell it? and see what happened. Uh, that's okay, that's all what happened. So who decides? But the abundance of drugs has meant that while a few might strike it rich, many more end up addicted. Danielle and I met a local music promoter, Keith Brooks, who showed us one of the many areas that has been taken over. That's something um, out of the ordinary here. So it's very common for us to see people just smoking, consuming this, 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 this garbage. But sometimes literally a boat with sacks full of cocaine will just turn up on the beach somewhere or down a river somewhere. Well, it happens all the time. All the time? Yeah. But, um, you know, it, 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 it's, it's sad when you see fishermen and fisherwomen go out to look for lobster and shrimps and fish yeah. and they find this stack. This is when boats... Like, like the the drug, poli the drug police chase a boat and they just dump the boat with sacks of coke on board. Yes. And then local people find it. Absolutely. And sell it and 
So we literally get it free. But this is this is this is the crack lane. It's just this small neighborhood, not the whole of Bluefield. No, no. I would I would say that every neighborhood in Bluefield right. have a crack um crack lane. So so someone said it's literally the same price as a Coca Cola. Uh yes, for yes. one for one rock. Yes, and it's it, it's it's used commonly like a Coca Cola. The same way you would find a young boy, a young girl trying to uh, have their thirst quenched with a Coca Cola. Well, crack is our first choice here. It seems like you look. The crackheads didn't like Keith's some preaching. Kind of, um, some kind of rescue, some kind of answer. So, wait, 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 w